Okay guys, so this is going to be the look that I'm going to be showing you today. It is another wash and go video. So if you guys want to see what I use to get this wash and go, then definitely keep on watching. So first I'm going to be going in with this Amelise Revitalizing Hair Moisturizer and I'm just going to spray that all over my hair. This is actually a really, really good moisturizer. I'm using it kind of as a leave-in. Next I'm going to go in with my Holy Grail Sealing Oil which is the Moisture Love Sealed with a Kiss Finishing Oil and I'm just going to apply that next. And then the final product that I'm going to be going in is with the Amelie's Shea Souffle Nourishing Hair Cream. And I'm going to apply that all over my hair. Um, I really, really like this moisturizer. It just really sealed in my hair and kept that moisture locked in. Now, the only thing is with this particular gel that I use, I wish I would have did the LCO method, which I did in some areas. Um, but then I kind of like slipped up and did the lock method like I usually do because it's what I'm used to but um, with this particular gel I do wish I would have ended with an oil and then apply the gel so the next time I do a wash and go using these products I will probably do the LCO method and and then apply my gel sorry guys I don't know why I didn't turn my phone off but if you guys see Fernando coming in and out, he actually came over to help me or watch Nia while I do my hair because she was being a little wild and I was just not able to like film in peace. So I had to call him over to, you know, regulate. Nonetheless, I'm going to go through and shingle my hair and I pretty much shingle my hair almost every wash and go now. I just love how it comes out. I rarely do the lazy, I guess, I don't want to say the lazy way, but... It's kind of the lazy way, I guess, because this I feel like this is just more tedious. Um, I don't really do that way anymore because I just I just like how it comes out when I shingle my hair. So this is what I do pretty much every time that I do a wash and go. So I'm just gonna go through, complete that section, and I'm just gonna repeat these steps all over um, my head. Next, I'm gonna go in and just repeat this step all over my head. So again, you guys see me, I am applying my oil, which is the last product that I use. Like, like in the front, I did actually do the LCO method and then applied my gel. So I did do it right in the front, but the sections in the back, I did the lock method, um, which I realized once my hair dries, that is where my hair leaked. Um, but nonetheless, these products actually worked really, really good. I do like these two products, the Emily's Moisturizer and the Souffle, um, as a nice, you know, base to go underneath a wash and go. So these products were actually really, really good. And yeah, I'm just going to do that and repeat that process all over my head. And then I will be back, guys, and show you the finished results.
Okay, so now that I've applied all the product, I do go sit under my hooded dryer. And usually for my hair to dry, it takes me about an hour and a half when I use a gel as opposed to an hour. Um, so I do set that and I sit under my hooded dryer for about, like I said, an hour and a half, um, especially when I'm using a gel. Usually if I just use a cream, it usually only takes me about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. So, but when I use a gel, it takes me a little bit longer. So I sit under my hooded dryer and then this is my hair afterwards and I did stretch my hair with a blow dryer um, this time. Um, I've been doing this method a lot lately because I've been finding that I've been doing my hair and having somewhere um, somewhere I need to go the same day. So, but these are the results. They came out, look at my curls. They are super pretty, so defined, really, really soft. I really like this combo and how it came out. I will definitely be using this again in the summer. Um, I do like the Main Choice Gel. I also like the Emily's product. It was a really good base to have underneath this gel because it's so drying. I need to clip that one in. Y'all see that right there? Like, she just needs to go. That one right there, right there, right there. That one, she needs to go. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really, really like how this turned out and I loved how my hair feels. So if you guys want to check out these Emily's products, I will leave a link down below. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you can know anytime I upload a new video. Okay, bye.